Hey, I hope you're doing great. My name is Nandi and I'm the developer for Elizabeth Homeland. And if you don't know me, I create max for Live devices for Ableton Live. And this year I've been pretty quiet and I only released a few smaller max for Live devices and some updates to existing stuff. And it's because I've been working on the biggest project that I ever had. I integrated the Universal Audio Console application into Ableton Live. I call it Ground Control. Check this out. The main purpose of Ground Control is to let you interact with your Apollo interface without having to open the console up separately. So it feels more like a native part of Ableton Live. And not only that, but it also adds a few cool features that weren't possible before. So here's a Ground Control channel device on this audio track. And I have the console application open on the side, so you can see what it does. But obviously, when you use the device, you don't have to open the app separately. Ground Control automatically detects all the connected Apollo interfaces that you have and its input channels. So you can just simply select the unit, then the channel from the device that you want to work with. Right now it's the first one, the guitar, so it controls that. And if I select the second one, the base, it's gonna start to control this one. Plus, if you select a channel from the device, it will automatically assign it as the audio tracks input source. So right now it's the second channel, the base one. So the input source is set to the second channel, the base. And if I switch it back to the first one, the guitar one, it automatically switches it back to the first one, the guitar. Now you can start picking the device like you would in the console. And it works both ways. So if I change anything in the console itself or on the audio interface, everything will reflect in the device. One cool feature it has is that if I turn on the monitoring volume slider, it's going to turn off auto monitoring in uh, the track on live. And if I turn it all the way down, it's going to enable auto monitoring. So it prevents double monitoring. It is also a built-in browser where you can search for plugins, presets, and whole channel chains. Just simply click on an empty slot and it will reveal all the plugins that you have access to. Just click on it and it will load. Now you can tweak it or select a preset. And if you click on a plus icon next to the insert section, you can load whole channel chains. And you can change their order by dragging and dropping them to another slot. Or if you want to remove them, you can just drag and drop them out from the window. You can also change the sound section. And I'm going to show it with a preset I saved before or the third channel uh, where I have my microphone plugged in. So if I turn it off, it's gonna add some reverb, add some delay. So it works the same way. So it was pretty straightforward so far. And now the cool stuff. Once you loaded the plugin, you have access to eight quick control parameters. You just simply have to select the plugin you want to control and the parameter, and you will have access to it right from the device. You can even automate these parameters, minimap them or moderate them for creative recording purposes. And it also has a built-in note section where you can document how you approach the recording, what microphone you used, and things like that. And it even has a picture section, so you can just simply uh, drag and drop pictures from Live Browser to the device. So even years later, when you open the live set, uh, you will know exactly how you approach the recording for this track. And you can control almost everything directly from push. So here's the preamp section, the monitoring, 
the sands and the grid parameters. One of the standard features of ground control is the ability to create multiple configurations across different tracks. So for example, you might want to use the same microphone for both a guitar and a vocal recording and you want to set them up differently. You just have to tweak the channel the way you want it. And when you switch between these tracks, ground control will automatically recall everything for that input. So you don't have to manually save and load presets, just simply select the track and it will recall everything just the way you left it. So to demonstrate it, I loaded two presets I previously created for the first channel and it has different configurations to record some guitar parts. So I just simply have to plug in the highest input and as you can see it's switched and now I can record something. Something like that. And if I now switch to the other track, it should sound quite different. I added a lot more reverb and delay, and I also inserted a chorus effect there. And just for fun, we should also automate the chorus intensity during the second recording to see what happened. Like that. So let's see. Something like that. You get the idea. <laughs> so this is what I've been working on this year, and it took a lot of time and it was quite challenging, so I hope you're as excited as I am to see it and thank you for watching the video and if you want to know more about it or get your hands on it just check the link in the description and have fun with it. Cheers!